guys good morning it's christmas eve i'm gonna go get in a full body session today um, we take off around noon uh it's around 8 a.m at the moment but i'm gonna take you guys through that full body session These days like this i'm honestly just trying to hit as much tissue as possible so as much lean tissue as i can um, so big muscle groups are going to be hit today and I'm going to start out with uh, the hack squat, move on to a pressing movement, then we're going to um, go to some rowing movement probably to hit some back and then I'll probably do um, a hamstring movement and depending on how much time I have left, I'll kind of have to add some fillers in um, just for some isolation work. but. Um, short intro this time, that's what to expect. See you guys at the gym. All right guys, we have arrived at the gym and I wanted to talk about really quick. The, so today, um, the gym's gonna be packed. Uh, it's gonna be busy just because and it looks not too bad right now, but um, it, it will get busy because it closes at noon. So everyone, even if you've never worked out, you come apparently on Christmas Eve. So what we're going to do today is not be married to the exercises that, you know, you know, maybe I have in mind. So, you know, don't marry yourself to those. Uh, just kind of take what's open um, and do more sets on that. Um, so, you know, instead of doing two leg movements, only do one and just do like six or seven sets of it. Um, so that's my advice there. Uh, and then my next tidbit, uh, just really quick before the workout, is I have these, you know, you need to be more self-aware before you go in for your workout. So if, you know, like last night, I noticed that, you know, I didn't drink much water yesterday. We went and had a lot of like high sodium foods at a Christmas Eve Eve thing. And, you know, this, this morning I woke up and I noticed I was a little dehydrated. And you know, I can't, you can't just sit there and chug water before you work out. So my recommendation, um, you know, I filled up, I did my pre-workout stuff, um, the PE high volume and the new pre-workout and some aminos and ergonine. Um, so there's a lot of good substances in here, but um, you know, I can't fill this whole thing up 40 ounces and just chug it. Cause then I feel uncomfortable and have a bad workout. So my advice is, you know, just to do your best with the water in the morning and um, chances are you're going to be dehydrated in the morning but do your best and you know what I'm gonna to do today just because I'm, I'm kind of like hyper aware of it today so I'm gonna start slow um, you know start off with some leg extensions and maybe some chest flies just to kind of get a good warm-up in um, good primers and then I'm going to start moving into my working sets but those working sets are going to, you know, kind of be dictated on how I'm feeling. So I, I just can't, I'm feeling good physically, but you know, I might be dehydrated when I get in there. Things might not feel good. Joints might not feel good. Um, just cause of the lack of hydration and you know, maybe my muscle performance will be down, but, um, so just kind of auto regulate, auto regulate your session based on those, those factors. And, uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well, but enough for me. This is almost three minutes. I'm sorry I didn't mean to do this to you today, um, but let's start the workout.
least at this time. So uh, I was able to get my hack spot machine. And then, uh, so I started with leg extensions, as you guys saw, and then uh, moving on to hack squat here. But what I'm gonna talk about today, right now, is like acclimation sets. You guys really need to do acclimation sets, warm up sets. Um, don't just go straight into your working sets. Um, that's very, very crucial, especially as it's cold out. Um, and like me personally, um, especially like doing the hack squat, it sort of puts your knees in a vulnerable position. Um, and just really that joint and that musculature around that knee joint. So uh, I really work up to my weight and spend time at the bottom of the range. Uh, I'll, I'll try to show a step right here, uh, just showing that I'm staying controlled in my eccentric motion and then uh, I'm kind of I'm pausing at the bottom uh, to really feel where I'm at, make sure my pelvis is set correctly, make sure my knees are just, you know, starting to warm up, some fluid running through them. Make sure, making sure that my intent to the platform is correct, so driving upward with my feet. So uh, go and watch this set here and uh, watch all those points. So we found our working weight for hack squats. Um, it's gonna be the four plates and the same working weight that I had uh, my last leg session. So I know I'm comfortable with that weight and I'm gonna perform around six to eight reps, most likely around six, and I'm gonna do probably around five or six sets because um, I tend to start feeling it, feeling better throughout those third, fourth, fifth sets. Um, so what you're gonna notice though is we're gonna keep the same tempo, um, three second eccentric, one second pause, one second on the way up, and we're spending no time at the top. So really pay attention to my tempo here, and you're also gonna notice that I'm not displacing any of the load, or trying to at least, into my passive tissues. So as I do, go down, and into that pause, that pause, from that pause, I'm only going upward from there. So I'm not dipping back down into my passive tissues and deactivating my quads at all. So really pay attention to that. 